5ヶ月前 A さんは日本に留学するため全てを捨て全ての人を捨てたしかし自分がこんなに早く海賊王になるとは思っても okay, that's enough just because I live in Japan does not mean my life is in the anime Sorry guys, narrator s o n gets a little carried away sometimes. I'm currently in my third year in college and I'm spending it all abroad in Japan. I was only supposed to stay here for one semester, but halfway through, I decided to extend my stay for the full year. My time here has been life changing and is continuing to change my life. And I want to talk about four reasons why. So, first off, this whole experience has been a big crash course in learning to be an independent adult. When I first left home for college, I thought I was finally becoming an independent adult, and I definitely was. But there's something about leaving your whole country and everything that you know that's just a whole nother level of being independent. It can definitely be a kind of scary thing to move to another country by yourself, but it's also very freeing and empowering because you only have one option, which is to spread your wings and fly. And I took the leap, and now I'm here renting my own apartment in Japan and just living life, and it's awesome. As challenges come, s you know, I might not get it right the first try, but I do eventually get it right, and I become more and more smarter. For example, for about the first month and a half that I've been here, I had no idea how to pay my water bill. And it turns out that you're supposed to apply to pay for it, and then they'll start sending you the bills. But I didn't know that. So, like, A month in, I go to take a shower and no water comes out. And then I go to my sink and no water comes out. And I realize that, that these guys shut off my water, which is like the worst case scenario because you need water to like function in your apartment. So I only have one option and it's to figure something out. And I end up going to my convenience store and just buying water bottles and using that to like wash my hands, wash the dishes. Shower or a bit. I couldn't shower, no. But fortunately, the toilet still worked, which is just like a blessing because if, if that didn't work, I would, I would be screwed. But you know, low key, this whole thing has just been a fun adventure. And, and throughout it all, I'm just building my confidence because if I can make it here where I don't even speak the language, I can make it anywhere. The second reason my life has changed is because I've been able to learn so much more about myself. And it's because when you move to a new country, everything changes besides yourself. So you're able to notice things about yourself that you weren't really able to tell before because it kind of just blended in with your surroundings. It's kind of like if you were a yellow paintbrush and you were painting a yellow canvas, you wouldn't be able to really tell yourself from the canvas. But if you suddenly move to a green canvas, you would be able to tell yourself apart from the canvas a lot better. And you could see where all your paint strokes were. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Take me, for example. I've always kind of seen myself as an adventurous, like, exciting guy. And I was kind of frustrated that back home, there's not much to do. So I was stuck just doing all this boring stuff. And since coming to Japan, There's so much to do, there's so much to see, and it's helped me realize that I'm actually a very boring guy. <laughs> My best days are just when I stay in and, and make YouTube videos, and maybe I'll have dinner with a friend, and that's just a really great day for me.、Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, I still have a lot of fun exploring and seeing different parts of Japan, but I do so knowing that. I feel most fulfilled when I'm just working on myself and my goals. Basically, I've realized that my happiness comes from within and not any of the outside fancy stuff that the world has to offer. And it's only thanks to my experience abroad so far that I've been able to make all these little realizations about life. Okay, so the third reason is that I've been able to become a better friend and a better communicator since my time here. And it's because I'm having a lot of experience now making Japanese friends who are very different than me. Fortunately, a lot of people at my school speak English, but even then, some people's English is not that good. My Japanese is terrible. And there's kind of a magical thing. When you have two people that can't really speak the same language but want to get to know each other, I actually vlogged my first time making Japanese friends. It's completely random. I was going to like this, this meetup in Tokyo and I ran into some guys and they couldn't really speak English and I could not speak Japanese. 
So we just used Google Translate and it worked perfectly fine. We were able to connect really well. I got to teach them a little bit about like the NBA and it was, it was just so cool. And since then I've had just so many fun experiences with Japanese people. I'm just slowly becoming better and better at um, connecting with people who have an experience so different than mine. And that's kind of an invaluable skill as a human being, just the ability to see someone else's perspective and, and meet them halfway. So that それなら海の怪物と話すことができる。Dude, I still don't think you get it. Sea monsters are in one piece. This is real life. The fourth reason that my time here abroad has changed my life is because my life here is not easy. And it's not supposed to be easy. When you move to another country where you don't speak the language, where everything else is different than what you know, you're going to take some time to adjust. I'm not going to lie to you, I've had some tough times here. I feel alone at times, I'll be struggling with my schoolwork, and I'll just wonder, like, what am I doing out here by myself when my family is in America, when all my friends are in America, and I'm just missing out on so much. But everyone has moments of doubts like these, and it's how you get through them that Shape you into a stronger person. And the beautiful thing about human beings is that we are very resilient. So we're always going to get through. Just like how we always wait until the last minute to get our work done, and we always still get it done. <laughs> no, that's not relatable at all. Please keep it to real life. You know, the tough moments here have built me into a tougher, stronger person. And I'm slowly building this deeper perspective on the world that will just benefit me for the rest of my life. And obviously, I have no regrets coming here. I'm so thankful that I took this leap of faith and really got out of my comfort zone. And I'm really excited to see where my life is going to take me for this next year as I continue to live in Japan. And if this video was not, not good, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. It helps me out a ton. And if there's another video that you want me to make, just let me know and I will definitely get to it.、Um, narrator san, anything you want to add? Okay, bye.